Hi guys. Welcome to lecture number, I don't know what number this is, but it's a long way of numbers in our general biology course. Whoa. Today is our second day of conversation about evolution. And really, everything that we're doing from here on out till the end of the semester, we're basically talking about evolution forever now. The interesting thing is you might be thinking, well, we certainly haven't discussed this yet, but kind of the whole course like culminates in a conversation about evolution because evolution happens because of genetic changes in populations. So if you don't understand genetics and heredity and DNA and cells and mitosis and meiosis, which is everything we've talked about in the course so far, then evolution is not going to make sense to you. So it's kind of cool because it will make sense because we've talked about all that stuff. And then after we've got all our mechanisms of evolution, mechanisms today, evidence, tomorrow, then we get to look at what's the outcome? Like evolution, shmevolution. Why do we care? And I care because the outcome is so cool. Like all the crazy madness of diversity that we see around us and that we've gotten little glimmering glimpses of throughout the semester, all that stuff it can be explained by the process of evolution. So it's going to get really exciting here as we start looking at all the critters around us. Let's start this conversation by reminding ourselves about, dude, what is evolution? And I've got a website up here because I think this might quite possibly be one of my favorite websites on the Internet. This is an incredible uh, compilation of resources around evolution, very current, very interesting. So I left the uh, web address up here so that you can go check it out, but it's just got it's a nice resource. We're going to remind ourselves of the two different mechanisms for evolution, and mostly what we're going to focus on today is microevolution and primarily natural selection, which is kind of the, the big player, the all-star, the MVP of evolution land. All right, let's go remind ourselves about macro and microevolution.